Hi, I'm Michael, KB9ZBR, your host for Ham Radio q and I'm on a mission to inspire and educate the amateur radio community. If things like that interest you, please consider hitting like and subscribe. Also, check us out on Patreon. Patrons help keep the mission alive. That's over at patreon.com slash KB9VBR antennas. Well, first off, I must admit that this product review will not be for everyone. The device I'm going to look at is a bit on the high end when it comes to amateur radio products. But if you're interested in working with or designing antenna systems, the Rig Expert AA2000 Zoom is a no compromise tool to add to your kit. Now, in full disclosure, Rig Expert did send me the AA2000 Zoom in exchange for a product review, but I'm also a Rig Expert customer having purchased the AA600 and Stick 230 analyzers. So, I will try to limit my bias and deliver an objective review of its operation. The Rig Expert AA2000 Zoom antenna analyzer is currently the top end model of the Rig Expert line. It brings some very unique features to the market that aren't found on their other models. Notably, this unit has a frequency range of 0.1 to 2000 megahertz. That's right, this meter will measure anything from the 2200 meter band all the way up to 23 centimeters. Not quite DC to daylight, but anything that I will ever throw at it. It also comes with a full color a bland view display, which is an improved a TFT LCD screen, and it's the first meter uh, from the Rig Expert line to have this style of, of screen. The high resolution uh, display has uh, very good contrast and is easily readable in full sunlight. Other features of the AA2000 Zoom include a dust, dust proof and moisture resistant case. It's calibration free operation, uh, multilingual menus, uh, multi battery types, multi band antenna scanning, a real time SWR meter, a zoomable graphical display, uh, Bluetooth support, a connection to their Ant Scope uh, computer application, a TDAR or time domain reflectometer to check uh, cable faults or measure cable length, an LC meter for measuring transformer inductance. And finally, the Rig Expert care coverage. A Rig Expert meters are covered by a two year warranty with immediate replacement if the, in the event of manufacturer's defect. Rig Expert products are designed and built in Ukraine, and the company is an amateur radio focus company with uh, many of their employees being ham radio operators. In this review, I'm going to focus on the basic operations of the AA2000 Zoom, and we'll dedicate a second video to the more advanced features of this analyzer. Opening up the package, you'll receive with your AA2000 Zoom a detailed full color operation guide. Uh, the meter comes with a nylon vinyl carrying case with strap. The AA2000 Zoom has an N female connection on it, so you'll need an adapter, uh, which is not included. You know, if you're going to use it with UHF connectors, uh, you'll also uh, get a USB cable for computer connection, a battery charger, and three nickel metal hydride rechargeable batteries. The batteries are going to last for up to three hours on continuous measurements or two days in standby operation. I mentioned that the unit can use a variety of power sources. You can power it via the USB connection, a use of supplied rechargeable batteries, or use standard alkaline or even lithium cells. In the meter settings menu is a menu item to specify the power type so that different battery voltages don't affect the meter's performance. But really, uh, these meters are very power efficient and I've gone a very, very long time uh, between battery changes or charges. Size wise, the meter is nine by four by two inches and weighs approximately 1.4 pounds. The meter has a good ergonomic feel it fits very well in the hand, and I found that you can operate most of the buttons uh, one-handed. Now, the Blandview uh, color display is a unique TFT LCD screen that delivers really high contrast images that are readable even in bright sunlight. Uh, this screen is very readable in a wide variety of lighting situations, even in bright sun. Uh, cold weather also doesn't affect the meter. One nice thing about Rig Expert is their consistent user interface. If you're familiar with any of their other models, you can pick up the, uh, the operation of the AA2000 Zoom rather quickly. Pressing the power button, uh, you're greeted with the welcome screen, and then you'll see the menu. Uh, menu items can be selected by scrolling with the arrows or pressing the numbers on the keypad. 
Looking at the meter's keypad, uh, you'll see that it's broken into three areas. Uh, the first at the top are the four arrow keys and an enter and cancel button. Uh, these are your navigation and action keys. Uh, below that, the, on the left, are a grouping of seven buttons. These are your menu selection keys. Uh, you can also quickly uh, jump to the various basic functions of the meter without scrolling through the menus by pressing these keys. On the right are four keys and the power button. This is for setting the frequency and range, uh, saving and loading plots, and viewing data on the graph. With the exception of the range button, uh, these buttons only work when you are on the graph screen. To show the basic operation of the meter, let's first scan a basic uh, two meter dipole antenna. Uh, the first step is to set the frequency and the range. Uh, there's no menu item for frequency selection, so you'll need to press uh, number three. Uh, use the keypad to enter the center frequency and uh, the scan range. Press enter and then you're done. Uh, next, press the four or uh, use the menu to go to the SW or sweep function. The meter will display the graph and you can use the arrow buttons to move uh, the frequency back and forth and to zoom in and zoom out. This is the zoom feature of the meter, which is the ability to easily and quickly scroll and zoom in and out on the graphs. The meter only scans the range that is visible on the screen, so you can press the enter key again to take another scan. Uh, pressing the cancel button takes you back to the main menu. You can also do a Smith chart scan of the antenna to measure complex impedance. Do this by pressing the two button or selecting it from the menu. Again, you can use the arrow keys to uh, change the frequency and the range that you are metering. Now, if we want to make an adjustment to the antenna, uh, we can press uh, the seven key or go to the SWR view screen. Uh, this shows a real-time scan of the antenna's SWR or standing wave ratio and is handy in making tuning adjustments. For example, if you're ingesting an antenna, say like a Wolf River coil or something like that, this SWR function makes that process super quick. The Rig Expert AA2000 Zoom is Bluetooth enabled, so you can use the Antscope app on your mobile device to view the charts and to take antenna readings. Or uh, you can connect the meter to your USB uh, port on your PC and use Antscope there to view the plots and load previously saved scans. The addition of Antscope makes this meter an extremely powerful tool. Uh, antenna scans can be saved in the field and uh, loaded back into the, uh, into the meter for analysis or exported to Antscope uh, for further work. Now let's take a look at another antenna. I have a random wire NFED antenna with a 9 to 1 transformer. I, I put this antenna up a few weeks ago uh, using the AA2000 zoom during the testing and tuning process. I'm going to change my center frequency on the meter to 14 megahertz and uh, keep the range set to 20,000 megahertz. I can now see the entire HF spectrum of the, that the antenna covers on the screen. Now, what nice thing about uh, the Rig Expert is that it shows the frequency limits for each of the amateur bands, uh, which makes it easy to spot and zoom down into them. Uh, the band limits are adjustable by ITU region, and that can also be set in the meter's uh, setting menu. Now this antenna could use a little bit of tweaking, uh, but the initial results are very good and it tunes and operates fine uh, with a, an external tuner. Since this is a multi-band antenna, I'm going to illustrate the two multi-band features of this meter. First, uh, you can go to the multi-SWR feature and this lets you actively scan five frequencies so you can see their SWR or standing wave ratio in real time. Uh, this is super helpful if you're adjusting a multi-band antenna, say like a fan dipole or an NFED half wave, because at a glance, uh, you can instantly see uh, the relationships to the other frequencies when you adjust one of them. Uh, the multi-SWR uh, frequencies are also user customizable, so you can pick the five bands and frequencies you wish to analyze. The second multi-band option is the multi-feature. Uh, this will scan all of the amateur bands and tell you which ones the antenna is good for. 
This is handy for checking a mystery antenna or just seeing at which other points an antenna is resonant on. I'm a really big fan of the multi feature. On my Stick 230 has it and it's usually the first button I will press when I check an antenna before uh, plugging it into my transceiver. One nice feature of the AA2000 is that I can scroll and select a band uh, for a deeper look into the antenna's performance on that particular band. Now there is a lot more that this meter will do that we didn't really cover, namely resonance and reactance, which we can view uh, the R and X values in a graphical format. We can also look at all of the parameters uh, for an antenna at a single frequency. Uh, there's an RL chart, so we can graph return loss over a range of frequencies. And um, when we move into the tools menu on this meter, uh, we'll find more features such as a stub tuner, uh, length and velocity factor calculation of a cable, uh, cable loss calculation, a cable impedance calculation, a time domain reflectometer uh, for uh, cable faults, an LC meter for measuring inductance in a transformer, and uh, a 50 ohm uh, load test feature. There's also a calibration setting, so even though this meter does not require calibration, it can be recalibrated. We will go through all of these advanced features in a future video. In finishing up my review of the Rig Expert AA2000 Zoom, let's talk a bit about the good and the bad of this compact antenna analyzer. First off is the good. It's the ergonomic design. It fits really well in the hand. Uh, the buttons have a positive feel to them. And you can operate this meter uh, one-handed if need be. It comes with a printed user guide. Uh, the meter does a lot and uh, the full color user guide really does well in highlighting all of the features of the meter. This booklet gives you just the key points. It's relatively easy to use. I found this meter to have a very good user interface. It's got a built-in help screen, uh, which inside contains an excellent guide. And the system is really friendly and uh, you aren't gonna break it. So I found that just exploring with it has been the best way to learn how to use it. It's color display. Uh, this display is extremely readable outdoors and I had no issues uh, with the display washing out even in the bright sun. Now the bad. Well, there's not really a whole lot that's wrong with this meter and there is a couple of things that bug me. First off, uh, the multi feature is buried in the tools menu and not on the primary menu page. Not a big deal. I imagine that uh, this was done to maintain the user interface consistency uh, with their other meters. But, um, you know, I like the multi-feature and that's something I'd, I'd really love to see front and center. The second is that the frequency in the range is not on the scrolling menu. Uh, you have to either press the three button uh, to get to that screen. Uh, you can't really just scroll with the arrows and press enter. But it's easy to change uh, the frequency and as that button is active on any of the chart screens. These are just both minor user interface issues uh, where the designers were thinking differently than I, I am. And they really don't affect the usability of the meter. The AA2000 Zoom is really a well thought out antenna analyzer. Now onto the price, because I know people are gonna ask about it. This meter currently has a retail price close to uh, $1,100 American. Uh, street price is a bit below that. I think that the price alone will exclude it from your average ham. But you know, if you need an antenna analyzer that goes up to 2000 megahertz and measures just about any characteristic of an antenna and, uh, and feed system, well, you know, this, is, <laughs> this thing is really a good value especially consider what similar uh, commercial uh, test equipment units are gonna cost. But for the casual ham radio operator looking for something to help in building and adjusting antennas, uh, you know, maybe their uh, rig experts lower end offerings will make a uh, perfect sense. And they are, those are quite affordable. But if antenna system design or maintenance is your livelihood, or you're a ham radio operator looking for the best, then a top of the line meter would be a perfect choice. Final word on the Rig Expert AA2000 Zoom. 
I'm impressed with the build quality of the product, its features and capabilities, the ability to zoom in and out of the SWR graph is amazing, and the level of information it gives you is outstanding, and its speed of operation is first rate. So there you go. Uh, do you have any questions or comments on the Rig Expert AA2000 Zoom Antenna Analyzer? We'll leave them in the comment area below. I'll follow up with the conversation and maybe it'll uh, pull out a few for our next uh, Your Questions Answered live stream. But for more articles and information, please check out my blog at www.jpol-antenna.com. Your support of this channel drives the production of future videos. Support us on Patreon and unlock a bevy of exclusive content. Give us that thumbs up if you like this video and don't forget to hit that subscribe button if it's your first time here. It's your best way to be notified when a new video is released. Well, that's it for this time. I'm Michael, KB9VBR. Have a great day and 73.